all right so by now i believe you already know about making line types using symbols text complex shapes and so on if you don't know about that then i recommend you to follow the first video the link is in the description now let's talk about creating line types using the lin file so in the previous video we learned about creating line types which we have added here so look at that in this case we have these custom line types so pi lin and ta line so these are the line types which we created these are the custom line types now when we create these custom line types autocad automatically creates some files for us so this was the first line which we created and when you create that first line autocad automatically created this lin file you can open this lin file using notepad so right click and go to open with select notepad and okay there we have it so that's your lin file okay so it has a lot of information which is kind of very different at this point so we'll learn about this and we'll learn about the meaning of all of these things uh, in a moment now also we have this shape file so when you open the shape file once again using this notepad you'll notice that it also has some sort of information like this okay so this also contains the information this is the name of this shape and so on so we'll learn about using these things here so first let's talk about line types and creating line types using these lin files so again i'll go to this drawing where we already have these two line types now let's create a very simple line type and for that i'll use the text again in this case i'm using the standard text style and i'll type a and just a single line of length one unit there we have it and i'll just place it uh, exactly at the center so i'll select it then explode you already know that we need to explode the text because the make line type command is going to recognize only the single line text not multi-line text which you can convert i mean you can convert a multi-line text into single line using explode command so that's what i did so i'll select this then right click properties then here we have this from the justification section i'll change it to middle center there we have it now this will allow us to place this thing properly on this line because we have this grip so i'll just place it on this midpoint and let's trim it so let's make a circle to create a gap and then using that gap i'll trim it so i'll trim this 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 now we don't need this circle there we have it now let's convert this one into a line type okay that's the simplest kind of line type you can get here so again mkl type and press enter all right so this was the first line which we created okay so first line well let's select this one okay the first line and i'll click on save so now autocad will prompt you with this kind of message it's just prompting you that it's about to replace this existing file but it won't do that actually it will just append to that and it will add the extra lines here so that's what we want so i'll simply hit yes all right now you need to enter the line type name so let's name it as a l n or a line and enter now the description and enter now starting point is this ending point is this select objects well i'll select it all and enter that's it a line is now added let's test this one so circle there we have it and let's see here it is a line look at that so that's added also now let's go to this line type file and let's see if we can recognize any pattern here so i'll go to this first line okay i'm opening this one with the help of a notepad now look at that ta line is the already existing line okay that we already saw and now a line is the line which we just now created so now this file contains two different line types okay let's add a space here so that you can clearly recognize this now let's talk about this one this one is easier to understand so well this is how this file works so the new line type always starts with this asterisk then the name of line type which is a line in this case now that is followed by this description so we have the asterisk name 
of the line type and the description obviously separated by a comma now in the second line we have this a and a indicates the point where the actual line type starts so this is the point where the line type actually starts so now the line type starts here with the length of 0.318385 well let's understand what this thing is so i'll just go to this one and i'll make a straight line and I'll apply the line type here the simple one a line all right now in this case the first length is actually half of this length okay so the distance between this point and this point is well this tiny distance 0.318385 okay now after that we have this comma and then this negative value well the negative value indicates the gap so now the amount of gap here is actually equal to these many units okay and that's in the same unit in which our drawing is so that's the gap now inside this square bracket we have the text and all the information related to text so the text starts with this square bracket and then a a stands for the text which we have here that's this one then we have the text style standard so now that's the name of text style so in every drawing you'll obviously find this standard text style generally that's the case so that's why I have not changed the text style if you change the text style if you use any other text style which you can and obviously you should use your own text style then you need to ensure that you use that particular text style in every other drawing where you want to import the line types now in this case the standard text style is already here okay now this y is the offset value along y axis well we'll see that in a moment what this thing is then the scale all right the scale of this text point two and then this upright value well we'll look at that also just in a moment okay now going to this one and again we have the gap indicated by the negative value and again we have this thing the positive value which is the segment length and after that the pattern repeats from here so again the pattern repeats then this length gap text and gap all right and that's what this thing means all right now using this we can make a new text style and we don't need to go to this one this drawing and create a new one let's try a new text style so i'll copy this complete line here the two lines and i'll paste it here now let's name this line as B line and we'll leave the same description here now a pen down or the point from where our line starts let's leave these distances same and here I'll type B all right standard is the text style if you want to change that you can change it here and offset value i'll leave that scale i'll leave that now let's delete this value this upright value of zero i'll just delete that i'll show you what that thing is now with these values i'll also leave these values and i'll just save this file so now in this file we have three different line types let's insert that line type inside this drawing so we just have these a line p i l l n and t a line line types we have these three custom line types to insert that one we need to use lt command so lt and press enter and now click on load file locate the file on the desktop we have this first line open now look at that we now have three different line types so b line is the line type which we just now created so i'll select that and i'll click on ok and that's added here so okay again now let's add one more circle and maybe we'll just delete this one and i'll apply that line type here okay so here we have it now you can clearly see that the text here is a here it is b the size of this text is the size of this segment is almost same it's exactly the same but we deleted the upright value now since we deleted the upright value there should be some difference between these two and there is a difference just look at the text here in this case a is always upright no matter where this is so this is upright and after this point again it is upright but look at the b here 
so this one is upright but not the text here so it is now rotating to an angle of 360 degrees and it will just follow the complete rotation or it will just follow the path here you can just understand this one clearly using the example here so i'll just make a rectangle i'll copy this okay now let's apply the a line line type here the b line okay now this is upright this one is upright just look at these two they are in the same direction but not in this case this one is upright not this one okay so that's the difference between the upright value also the y offset value will actually decide the offset value along this direction so in this case you can clearly see that the text is exactly at the center but if you want to move this text a little bit upwards or downwards you can add any value to tweak the settings properly here also you can tweak the settings along this direction using another x coordinate value which is not there so you can add another x value to tweak that distance or that gap so now you just saw that you can import any line type in autocad using the lt command all you need to do is type lt then click on load click on file and select that one select that line type and load it inside your drawing well that's quite easy but if you want to do that for shape files or the line types containing shapes then things will be a little different in this case so let's open a new drawing now in this case we'll try to import the line type containing shape so again lt and load file now this is the shape line type let's try that open and we have an error bad definition on line 2 of this file well that bad definition error is just because of the line type and the shape which is used inside that so currently this drawing has no shape file in it but the line type which we have there is using a shape file let's open that line type so here we have the shape line look at that in this case the PILLN line type is using this shape file of name PILL well we don't have that shape file anywhere so we need to first make sure that this shape file is added now to do that we need to follow a couple of steps so we have this shape file so first we need to convert that into NSHX file now to do that we'll compile the file so let's type compile and enter now select the shape file I'll go to desktop build shape and shape file and open and there we have it so that compilation is successful and a shape file or shx file is now created here on the desktop although it was already present because it was already compiled but if it is not there you need to first compile it now we have the shape file which you can insert inside your drawing so now let's just do that so you can insert the shape file using load command so i'll type load enter here's the pill shape and open and it's now loaded here now let's check the name of shape file so i'll just go to this pill shape and open with notepad and its name is pill so that means this pill shape file is now added okay let's add it here so since we have that file here inside of a drawing let's type shape enter and now it should be able to add this pill shape so pill enter look at that so now the pill shape is added here i'll simply press enter and enter again to insert inside of a drawing so i've added this thing deliberately there is a reason why i did that because once you add that shape file inside your drawing you are now ready to import your shape file so you need to just make sure that you at least enter your shape file once inside your drawing before you actually import the line type so now let's import the line type so lt enter load file shape line open and look at that without any error we have the line type right here so okay that's added and okay again okay let's apply this line type and let's see whether it is working properly or not so here we have the circle this one and yes it is it's working perfectly in any drawing so these are some extra steps 
which you need to always follow in order to insert any line type containing shape file so you need to first compile the shape file into a shx file then insert the shx file using load command and thereafter you need to insert the shape file at least once and then you can add your line type using lt command and just by adding the line type file i hope these videos were helpful to you if you have any question related to these videos or line types just let me know in the comment below and don't forget to share this video. Thanks again for watching.